Hello everybody, I'm James Bellini. I'm here with Bradlin Watt. He's a sophomore out at Wall. He's a defensive end. He won our cover one first team defensive end and cover one defensive MVP. Bradlin, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. First off, let's talk about your season. Obviously it didn't end the way you wanted to, but you made it four rounds deep. Can I talk about that postseason run? Just It was it was a good run. Um a lot of hard work. I gotta give it to my team. We wouldn't be here without them. And it's just a big team. We all came together and just went on from there. Man, you, you, your defensive coordinator, Craig Slaughter, did, I mean, I think he rebuilt that defense completely mm -hmm. a couple years ago, and now he's just hitting stride with y'all. Y'all only gave up like eight points a game all season, you know. Mm -hmm. How much has Slaughter just influenced y'all? How much do y'all respect? I mean, obviously, I respect him a lot, but just talk about his, his influence on you guys. His influence has put a big impact on us. Uh, he pushes us beyond our limits and just shows us like he cares about us and pretty much that's all man and then uh all season long i think y'all went 11 and 2 you no know, and you I, we talked a little bit before about how you really start hitting stride in that mason game mason's a, a really good team you know how do you, you know i think you had what three sacks that game mm -hmm. now talk about that game when you just finally broke out and just it, it was a good game it's one of my better games this season but it's i don't know just one of those things, man, where – and uh, that's all right, man. But you started breaking out that game, and you never looked back. I mean, you, you ended up with, like, 10 sacks all season, over 20 quarterback hurries, and uh, quarterback uh, tackles for loss. You just lived in the backfield, man. Mm -hmm. You're you're fantastic. That's why you're our defensive player of the year, man. Yes, sir. But just uh, kind of show the people what – this year what I did was I, I went around and I got dog tags made up. So go ahead and show the camera them dog tags real quick. Go. Just – yeah, those dog tags, they say uh, – you know, it says first team defensive end and then a uh, defensive player of the year, man. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, what, what do you want to do with this? You know, obviously, you know, next year going into next year. Mm -hmm. I, I know it's basketball season, but football is, you know, football's king of West Texas. And mm -hmm. obviously that's what y'all want to, you know, where do you, where do you want to take this? You want to just, obviously you want to keep playing well, mm -hmm. right? So just kind of talk about what, you know, your aspirations are for, for football, you know, just next year. I, I hope we go all the way next year, but. We all, gotta, we all gotta put that work in, and it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be the same teams we play this year, and I hope we can get a long way next year. Well, shoot, I mean, one thing was, Walt, y'all had a really young team. You know, you're, you're mm -hmm. a sophomore, and I think your quarterback, you know, Gunnar Diller, I think he's a sophomore too, mm -hmm. and there were a ton of juniors out there, so y'all have you know, the ability to really have, do you know how many guys y'all are bringing back next year? How many seniors y'all had out there on starting? Uh, we lost. Three starters on seniors on defense and four on offense. So right, we'll so be returning a lot. All right, so yeah, you're returning a whole bunch, and all that continuity is going to help, man. You mm -hmm. know, just uh, yeah. Congratulations, man. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, this has been a short little quick interview with Brylan White. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the show.